All right, so the patch notes also came out as well a couple hours ago. I have not seen these yet, so we're gonna check these out together. It appears that the actual patch will drop on August 24th. So a Wednesday for Eastern Standard Time, North America. I think this will be at 2 p.m. EST. So that's actually a really good time for me. Usually it's like super late at night, but I think this time it's gonna be at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time for North America. So that'll be nice. Uh, also, the pre-install function is now available as well. So make sure you do that so you can just jump right in. You also have Tainari's story quest as well. This will be probably about, you know, his forest watching and, you know, hopefully more about Tainari, like his actual life, what he goes through. You also have, ooh, they showed the banners too. Okay, so we have Fashil, Diona, and Kali. Wow, it's a bow impact. And Tainari as well. He's also a bow, bow character. So, okay, here's the big thing. I know a lot of people are trying to skip Tainari because he's going to be at the center banner. I too will jump in on that as well. Um, I, you know, it might be a little hard to just let him go because I know, you know, once he's gone, he's gone. He probably will not come back another banner again. So, you know, that's not to be, you know, confirmed, but I don't know. I just think that we're all going to lose our 50 fifties a lot of times. So it probably does make sense to just save our wishes for now and get him on a loss 50 50. So. That's my plan. And honestly, on this current banner, I can't lose in my personal account because Diona, Fashil, and Kali. I mean, Kali's a new character, but Diona and Fashil, I could use constellations for as well. So I only have like C2 Fashil and C0 Diona. So that works out for me. Uh, this will go all the way until the 9th of September. So not a lot of time at all. 24th of August to the 9th of September. So not too much time at all. We do know that the uh, patch is going to be shortened as well. So we have the Archon Quest. Nice story. Chapter one and two. Okay. Yeah, dude, I, can, I, can, I can't I uh, can even make words right. I cannot wait for this. Archon Quest. Here's the event that uh, Kali comes home for free. Called the Sprout of Rebirth, which is also... Oh, it's just Kali. So I wonder how early this is going to be. We can actually check and see the dates. Oh, nice. So it's immediately. Okay. So it's like a right. It's a literally immediate. Ooh, with the Zhongli banner. So personally, I will be wishing on this banner because I need Zhongli. I don't have him. Um, I know everybody's like, dude, he's on a banner like four times. But unfortunately, I started playing the game as soon as like Yai Miko came out. So not too long ago at all. Uh, I still have to get my Zhongli. So hopefully he comes home early or at least I win a 50-50. But yeah, I'll definitely be wishing on this banner for Zhongli. And then, of course, Kokomi later on. So those are the characters that I'm going for, Zhongli and Kokomi. I do want Ganyu, but she'll have to wait for now because there's just way too many characters coming out. But yeah, this will be also the first banner as well. So not too much time to get Zhongli or Tainari. Here's Kalia with her little boomerang. Yeah, that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. We'll have the Denjo Traveler and Kali for Denjo characters. And then if you want to pull for Tainari, you can also do that as well. And there's her ult. Probably pull off a lot of um, reactions with that as well. That's good. Kali's actual trailer we just saw. And of course, here are like, oh, here we go. Open banner, Hunter's Path. So that's uh, Tainari's weapon. And of course, Vortex of Vanquisher. Oh, we got Fafonius Lance on there. It's the whole Fafonius crew. Dang. That banner is pretty bad, though. I mean, besides from, I guess, uh, Tainari's weapon. But yeah, that's a pretty bad banner, all things considered. The Fafonius weapons are actually pretty good, though. Like, I don't know. The four stars are actually not bad. Like, the, the Fafonius Lance, Fafonius Sword, and Stringless are actually really good. I'm assuming his bow is good, but that's about it. The English VA for Akali is Christina Costello. And the Japanese VA is Makawa Roko? Roko? Ryoko? Also needs the same thing that Tainari needs, I think. Oh, she actually needs the um, arrowheads from the Hilly Trails and mods that. That makes sense. It's, I guess she's like kind of from mods that. Not really, but you know. She needs the riding materials, and I can't tell what that talent book thing is there, but yeah. All right. So I think I think we all have the arrowheads. I think we all have that already. Um, but yeah, everything else you have to actually farm for. Birthday is May 8th. Uh, yeah, Denja, of course, Bo. Affiliation is then Harvaville. And in these, I don't, I don't want to read yet because I, I wait until like I'm actually in the game and I can actually listen to her say it. So I usually just wait on that. But yeah, so she doesn't need too much of anything like too crazy. I don't think she needs the new Jade Shroom, Terra Shroom boss, 
looks like. Of course, dendro crystals, the new mats, the like, I don't know what you call those, but yeah. And then of course the Hilly Charlie Arrowhead, so not, not too bad. Now we're getting deep into the actual patch notes here. Let's see. Um, oh, they're reducing the damage inflicted by players with the Iron of the Skies, Arcan Quest, and the Prologue. Okay, so they're like making it easier for the newer players in the beginning, I guess. Okay. Oh, <laughs> optimizing the judgment condition of Raiden's Shogun with the Vision Hunter Free Battle. Yeah, so that's like when she takes away her, uh, your abilities, I believe. So they're, I guess, nerfing that, I suppose. Uh, just a part of floating hydro fungi behavior when the first hit by Electro or Pyro attacks. Oh, so you can actually get the new drops now because they said in Sumeru they'll change. Like if you use certain elements, you can actually get certain drops. So I guess they're changing the current fungi that we have like in the chasm or just in general. So it depends on the hit that you, it depends on the element you hit them with. You get a certain drop, I guess. So cool. That actually helps. Adjust some of the animation effects of Dendro Slimes and Large Dendro Slimes. Okay, because yeah, because we know we know how they act like currently, but they're going to change them up in the, in the next patch. All right, here we go. This is actually the good stuff here. System. This is like the most important thing. Uh, increase the number of party compositions. Oh, shoot. No way. You can preset in a party system menu up to 10. So you, you currently we have four, but now it's going to be up to 10. You have 10 different like party compositions set up that's such a good quality of life update uh in addition access to configure team has also been added to the party setup Travelers can use various shortcuts into disband existing party setups hmm. this is my friends oh you can have more friends 45 to 60 nice there's only 45 wow ask the function to show uh the source of five star artifacts and re redirect the corresponding domain oh that's good that's good. So like you know, now you actually know where what domain to go to if you look at an artifact. Talent reference no longer can be displayed for the trial characters. Oh, that's like a that's like a bug or something. Optimize the wish details and wish history layouts. Are they gonna have a pity counter? Maybe. You can now you can now adjust horizontal and vertical sensitivity. Oh, that's actually pretty pog. You couldn't do you couldn't do that already? Yes, you can. Update some features upon my menu, feedback system. Just the logic of interaction, certain gameplay modes corresponding to the T keyboard. Okay. All right. Well, I was expecting, you know, honestly, two big things here. The, the party compositions, you can have 10, you can have up to 10. Uh, more friends, easier artifact locations in terms of like finding them. Some wish and like the wish history and details adjustments as well is pretty good. And also the verticality of the, uh, or, sorry, vertical sensitivity. It's pretty good too. Audio uh, adds ally at low HP voice lines in the character profile. Oh, so like they'll, they'll call out when I guess someone else in co-op is about to die. I assume, I guess. As a function of trigger voice lines, voice lines when, yeah, okay, in, in co-op mode. Yeah, okay. Uh, adds sound effect when uh, characters defeat an enemy or inflict a crit hit. Oh, oh, as a sound. Okay, that was like a voice line. It's a sound. Okay, that'll be interesting. So when you hit a crit hit, it'll make like an extra sound. So like you know you critted. Besides the big numbers. Optimize the sound effects of characters when moving in combat. Dynamic sound effects in combat. Okay. Japanese dub for Red Dead Night outfit. All right. Elemental Renaissance. Ooh, new Dendro Elemental Renaissance sprawling greenery. Elemental mastery increased by fifty. That's a burning, quicking, or bloom reactions. All nearby party members gain 30 EM for six seconds. That's a trigger, triggering, aggravate, spread, hyper bloom, or burgeon reactions. All nearby party members get 20 EM for six seconds. So essentially, you just get a bunch of EM. Okay. Or at least like 70. From if you do like one different. Or no, you get more if you actually do bloom, quicken, or burning. Hydro Innocence, Soothing Water is also to fed by, fed by power by 40% less time and more HP. I did hear about that one, actually. That's pretty freaking pog, too. Electro Innocence, fed by Hydro 40% 40 less, 40 less at a time. And doing the reactions have a 100% chance to drop more particles. Okay. But the Dendro Crystals are now available with Delay Commission Rewards. Dendro Character and Sensitive Materials are now available through uh, Synthesis and Conversion. Oh, okay. So all the drops that would usually, like, you with all the talent books and whatnot you can now get them you can now get dendro pieces 
Adds Denjo damage bonus to the primary attribute of the goblet artifact. Okay, due to the addition of this attribute, the goblet, the percentage of getting the primary attributes of defense, HP, and attack would be reduced. Oh, so they didn't mess it up. My biggest concern with this is that they were gonna make the chance of getting elemental damage bonus goblet to lower to then add in the probability of getting a dendro one but they actually took away from the main stats so the ones that you don't want like hp attack and defense i mean you know you want hp and defense sorry hp and attack sometimes but it's way better that the way they did it than getting rid of the elemental damage bonus because imagine if they made like you know pyro uh you know hydro and all that stuff lower like a lower chance of getting those it'd be impossible so now it's all fair still now dendro pyro uh all the elements will be at five percent like they usually are or i think it's i think it's five percent right yeah that's actually huge i thought full well they were gonna mess that up and make the percentages like really bad but no now, now you'll get less defense pieces hopefully so it's good and you probably end up getting more Elemental bonus damage, probably. So, that's good. Guidance of the Land of Geo and Philosophies of the Land of Geo will be replaced with Guide of Land and Ver Verdu. Oh, these are all the, the name of the books. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. So, oh, for the Battle Pass. Yeah, so when you do the Battle Pass, you'll actually get Inazuman and uh, Dendro books now. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Here's all the artifacts. We saw this on a live stream. Awesome. Blizzard Shrayer, here I come. Crimson Witch, here I come. Uh, what else? Thundering Fury. I don't have any of those sets, so that would be cool. Optimizes the experience of moving through complex terrain with the following character. No way. I was just talking about this like a couple of streams ago that I had. I was literally saying, this is how you know that anything is possible. Because it's been two years. And they haven't fixed this and they just now doing it. So they're showing, yeah, Ayaka, Sayu, Mona, Yelan. Ooh, even Fishil. Wow. Yai Miko? Oh, I guess when she does like the right now, right here emerge. Yeah. Wow, that's actually huge too. Those are like, there's some pretty big updates here. This is probably one of the biggest ones. The artifact change with the, the uh, percentages and then this right here. Because you know how you usually get stuck on stuff all the time with Sayu, Yelan, and all the characters who can do those like fancy animations. Although, let me not get too excited because they said optimizes the experience. So does that mean they fixed it? I don't know. I'm excited for it. Like, I'm glad they're paying attention to it, but that doesn't mean that, you know, they're actually going to like fix it, fix it. So I'm excited they're actually, you know, they have their eyes on it, but I don't know if it's actually going to be fixed or not. I'm hoping you just like go over stuff like the same way somebody would climb over something. I hope they just go over it. But yeah, I'm excited to see they're actually, you know, paying attention to it. But please tell me that actually, they actually fixed it. Reduces elemental effects on targets by pyro or by burning. OK, so I guess they're not going to be taking that much damage anymore. Optimizes the aiming performance of some characters in co-op. Mm. I was waiting for like more co-op fixes, I was going to say. Optimize the display of burning reaction and trigger on the enemy. Adjust the pull range and pull effect on objects in the vertical direction to twice the horizontal range. What? Go to the Harakaza with Jean Sukos Traveler. I'm confused. Adjust the pull range and the pull effect on objects in the vertical direction. Oh, so I guess if an enemy is like a, above or below. Yeah, I guess if they're above or below, they double the amount of pull range from horizontal. Huh. It must be an enemy. Yeah, so I guess there's a bunch of like flying enemies in Sumeru, like those little mushroom things. So, or whatever they want to call them. I guess that's why I did that, but that's interesting. <laughs> and the weapon too. Nice. They can, they can really suck somebody in from like a long distance. All right, and that's all the patch notes, man. Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing, the biggest changes are the quality of life stuff. So like the uh, more parties in your, you know, for your teams. Um, I'd say we'll see. We'll, we have to get into the game and see what they're actually going to optimize first. But I say more party compositions, 
Um, this is pretty cool though, the, the voice lines. Um, the, the math, like the calculations for the percentages of the, uh, artifacts, like the elemental damage bonus, that's huge. They didn't mess that up. Um, Renaissance, there's Renaissance, Renaissance for, um, Dendro is pretty good. Uh, the new chains, the Hydro is God tier for Kokomi and Yelan or any HP scaling character. Uh, El Electro is, I guess, all right, I assume. Yeah, once again, this is amazing. Absolutely incredible, right? This is insane. The artifacts, strong box, so many good changes, honestly. I'm just like going down the list and it's insane. And for me personally, I don't know if anybody actually cares about this besides me, but for me personally, this is huge. I just hope they actually fixed it though. Like I hope it's actually fixed. That, like I said, that just goes to show that anything is possible. Two years this game has been out and, the, and this is just now changing. I'm going to love Ayaka so much more. That's like, that was my biggest issue with characters like this, because they keep on getting stuck on stuff. If they actually fix this, honestly, this might be up there with the best changes they've ever made. That'll do it. Some very, very, very nice changes. Unfortunately, we didn't see anything about like AR rank increase or like world level increase. I was really hoping we'd see that, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, I was hoping just, you know, maybe like stronger enemies or just like, you know, a higher AR rank would be nice. People have been sitting at 60 for, you know, like half a year now. So it'd be cool to see that happen, but it's not in the patch note. So I assume it will not happen. But yeah, very, very curious to see what the wish detail is going to look like. The voice lines for characters and whatnot. Uh, can't wait to play Kali. And yeah, just super excited, man. So I'll be back again very, very soon. Check out the drip marketing as well. But that'll do it for the patch notes. Uh, we'll be doing this every time for every update going forward. And yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching and hanging out all the way through if you did. And I hope you guys are excited as well. I will catch you guys in the next one.